Hi, in this video, we're going to find a formula for the sequence here. Terms are 2, 5, 10, and 17. Let's go ahead and go through the thought process of figuring out a pattern for the sequence solution. So the first thing um, to look at is the distance between the numbers. So for example, to get from here to here, you have to add 3. But then to get from here to here, you have to add 5. And then to get from here to here, you have to add 7. So the distance is increasing um, between each term of the sequence. Here it's 3, here it's 5, here it's 7. At some type of you know, rate, looks like it's always going to be a distance of 2 more. So if we had to guess, uh, the next term in the sequence should have a distance of 9. And so that would put the next term at um, 26. Right? 26 should be the next term because 17 plus 9 is 26. So that doesn't really help us a lot, at least in terms of the way I'm thinking of doing this, but it does tell us that there is a pattern. So I'm thinking um, we can realize that this number here is 2 squared plus 1. This number here is 3 squared plus 1. So 2 is equal to 1 squared plus 1. 5 is equal to 2 squared plus 1. 10 is equal to 3 squared plus 1, and then 17 is equal to 4 squared plus 1. Okay, so it just takes some thought to come up with that. And then so if you let x sub n denote the nth term of the sequence, then you can see that the formula is going to be simply n squared plus 1. And this is valid for n greater than or equal to 1. And so that would be the formula for this sequence. So these problems just simply take a lot of thought. Um, systematically, I always like to look at this first just to see if it's arithmetic or something like that. And then you want to look at, you know, is it a factorial? Is it two to a power? Um, is it something squared? Things like that are, are things you want to think about when you're approaching problems like this. I hope this has been helpful to someone. Good luck.